Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to knit with double pointed needles. So for this video, I'm just going to cast on 16 stitches. Once you have all of your stitches on your double pointed needle, you're going to start off by grabbing your second double pointed needle. Now in some cases you'll use four, you can use six, it just depends on the size of your work, but for this video we're just going to do four uh, total double pointed needles will be needed. So what we're going to do is we are going to knit five stitches onto our first double pointed needle. All right, we have five there. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our third double pointed needle and we are going to knit five stitches onto this new double pointed needle. And what I kind of do is just kind of tuck this other one behind and I'm holding it in my left hand. Does it kind of keep it out of the way? So you'll notice though how close the stitches are to popping off on that first hook that we did or needle sorry. So what you can do is just pull it to where your stitches are evenly distributed in the middle of it. And that'll just kind of keep everything safe so nothing accidentally falls off and you lose a stitch. All right, so here we have our work on two of our needles knitted and you'll see that it kind of ends up rolling up just a little bit. This will happen in the beginning of using double pointed needles. So you just gotta be a little bit mindful about that and take your time. So we're gonna grab our fourth needle at this point. I'm just making sure I counted properly on each needle. It should be five, five, six, and it is. So we're gonna keep going. So on this needle, we are just going to end up knitting those six stitches onto this fourth needle. Now this method I prefer for using when I am knitting things in the round, but my mother is very keen on doing this with, um, I can't think of what it's called. So here you have all of your 16 stitches distributed along three of your knitting needles. And you'll kind of see how it is rolling up. And I left a long tail on the end of my work so we can kind of see where I cast it on to see where the front and back is. So what you'll end up doing is just kind of rolling that into place. You know, rolling it down so you'll, your stitches are facing top side. So then what we are going to do is we are going to grab our needle and get everything ready to start knitting again. And this is how your yarn will end, your work will end up being connected with each other. So we'll go ahead and take our string and we are going to knit those five stitches onto our double pointed needle. And you'll kind of see that the needles do kind of poke around and flail around. In the beginning of your work, it will end up being like this, but as your work grows, 
you can start managing your needles just a little bit better. And it just came to me. My mother likes using circular needles. I knew it would end up coming to me eventually. That weird pause, you'll just be surprised at the end of the video where I discover and remember what it is. <laughs> so again, this is my long tail that indicates that's where the start of all of our work, or the end of our work started. But you can see as you end up going, how it'll end up all connecting to each other. And that is how you use double pointed needles. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I know that you will end up getting it and loving it. If you like this video, please do give it a like, and I really do hope that you have a happy knitting day.